Hi there, trendsetters. Good to see you. I'm Lena Rodriguez coming to you all the way from Australia and we are already in tomorrow. So you get the cutting edge here. So I hope many of you got to see the collaboration I did during the week. It's on um, Sheila Celtic Tarot's channel. And it was Sheila, Linda G, Whimsy and myself. We had a blast. Don't ask me how we got onto the male strippers. You had to be there. But check it out if you haven't. We covered quite a bit of ground. Not all of it political. Okay, but today, today, here we go. Because from what I've been following, it looks to me like there's several states at play here. There's Texas, Arizona, and Florida are in a three-way tie for the stupidest state in the union. You know, Texas has just introduced new no-license laws for guns, Arizona and the stupid recount, and Florida for just about everything it does, right? And I'll be getting to that during this reading, will Ron DeSantis protect Trump from getting extradited to New York to face charges? I think that's a really big question. But first, we've got other things to cover. Now, I was going to move on from Matt Gates because I think he is in trouble. But um, things have been developing and a lot of you asked me to recap on that because um, his partner in partying, Greenberg, who was some head honcho in taxation, so he had access to lots of public money, your money, Floridans, which he spent freely. It would appear, allegedly, allegedly, but not so allegedly anymore, entertainment only, not only in paying for sex um, with young women, but also recreational substances. This is getting messier and messier. Now, as I understand it, Greenberg has agreed to a plea deal. Well, he had no choice, really, because apparently of the 33 charges, he has pled guilty to six of them, and only one of those if he gets convicted of one of those, is a minimum 10-year sentence. And if you add up all of them, he's looking at decades in jail, decades with an S on the end. So he's got a lot of incentive um, to give the investigators what they want. And what they want is the young Matt Gates. He's in deep doo-doo. So... Let's just see what's happening with Greenberg and Gates on this. Of course, because Greenberg has been involved, he lies a lot, as they all do, but also he was doing illegal IDs because he had access to the software for licences and stuff. So the right wing is going to say, you can't trust a word this guy says, it's all lies, and he's trying to um, badmouth our golden boy, Matt Gates. You're going to see and hear a lot of that. Be prepared. Please ignore it. Because what matters, just like Michael Cohen, is it's the money trail that'll matter. Yeah. So let's have a look. I'm going to have a look at Greenberg and Matt Gates together, their relationship as we speak. And what could be better? I'm using the circus cards because it's such a circus, you know, such a circus. Juggling, sword swallowing, balancing on high wires, the circus. All right. Now their relationship. I 
I like this deck because it has a lot of elephants, which of course is the Republican symbol. Oh, not so good now. So Eight of Pentacles, they did lots of business together, perhaps more than you or I might have thought. Hmm. They had various scams and um, they had more financial dealings that overlap than I think we know at this stage. It, in other words, it wasn't just an airfare here or an amount of recreational substances there. There were lots and lots and lots of things. Okay. Now, the four of wands, this is underneath their relationship. This is when they were in the same tent, so to speak, and they were the two elephants, right? They were both high-profile guys. How to put this? High-profile guys in party mode, right? So who is the elephant handler? I think this is symbolically the investigators who are going to tame these particular elephants. Elephants have big appetites, so this was lots and lots and lots of partying, right, but also the other business dealings that we haven't heard about yet. It will come out. You wait and see. There'll be more that isn't just partying with young things. Someone is going to be taming this relationship, and I think they're in the process of doing that. On top of the King of Wands, I think Matt Gates was hoping that um, Trump would pardon him, and we're going to find out soon about whether Trump has actually issued any of those secret pardons, but I think Matt Gates thinks he's got one. Hmm, we shall have to see what transpires. But Greenberg was the senior guy here in age, but also um, in terms of he was the one that had the connections, not Gates. He was the rich frat boy who was prepared to play. But Greenberg is actually the key to ending their relationship. Now, with the Nine of Wands, this is the ongoing struggle. There's going to be so many issues arise out of this, many more. So let's just have a quick look here. I want a clarifier on this Nine of Wands. Their relationship now, we're sort of laying out the scene, but not what it actually is now. Their relationship now, their relationship now. Well, yes, <laughs> you'll like this. Two twos, this is the two of them. So the first card out, one's on the high wire catching the other, but if you've done any circus work, look, in my very strange and varied background, I did some circus work, not professionally, as part of a theatre group. And every juggling act, something, there comes a time when you drop the balls, every high wire act, there's a time when you miss. But, so this is Greenberg holding on to Gates till the last minute. And this is the two of swords where he gives him up. So this is going to go all the way to the wire. Hmm. Well, now we move on to a more serious issue here. So just hold on a moment. I just want to pause this and get my other deck. I'm back and I've got the top cards because you have to with these people. So I never use the top deck for reading for normal people. But for people like the Yeti and Ron DeSantis, you need serious cards. So will Ron DeSantis protect the Getty? So he's holed up in Mar-a-Lago. 
Doesn't he have to get out of Mar-a-Lago for three months a year or something? Isn't there some weird tenancy thing? If anyone knows the story, please put it in the comments. So Ron DeSantis, is he going to be able to protect Trump in this? All right. Yeah, they're in bed together, so to speak. He's certainly going to try, right. The lover's card, meaning they have a pact or agreement. They probably had it, I'd say, for more than two years that they will look after each other. So Trump was a heavy DeSantis supporter when he was saying all those imbecilic things at the early days of COVID and everything. He supported DeSantis and DeSantis has agreed to support him. Should we be surprised? No. The emperor, this is Trump. He still sees himself invested on the side of the emperor because he doesn't see very far or very deeply our oh, wrong. No, no, no. So there's there. Six of Cups, the pleasure principle. We were just speaking about Matt Gates and Greenberg. I'm going to stick my neck out here and say, I think DeSantis and Trump actually have some, um, let's say, shared party experiences. So there's more to this relationship than just DeSantis being a Trump supporter. Much more, much deeper than that. It goes deeper. So the Seven of Wands, which is regrouping between battles, DeSantis actually, yeah, I just heard he's not happy. He, when he agreed to this, with Trump, and he's actually face-to-face -face agreed. It was when they were all riding high on the crest of the Trump wave, and now he's got actually a lot to lose by doing this. Will he stand by his agreement and stop the feds coming in? Because apparently the governor can do this. These are these weird things about the American system that I'm sure most of you were unaware of until four years ago. And we keep finding out new and bizarre things the system will tolerate. And one of them is a governor stepping in so someone can't be extradited. So he's agreed to it, but he's not happy and he's realising it could bring a lot of heat down on him. And he's got a few skeletons in the closet. It's a very big closet in the GOP is all I'll say about that as well. But, yeah, and his attempts will ultimately end in defeat. Now, one shouldn't celebrate the misery of others, but one can't help but feel that these guys have worked hard, hard to earn our contempt. They've worked hard to rip off the taxpayers of the individual states, like Ron DeSantis. He's worked really hard to put his people at risk. So sometimes when you see the wheel turn, you think, you know what, it's about time. All right. So it does come, come crumbling down. So be prepared for a statement when they send the big boys to actually, let us pray, to arrest the Yeti, he's going to wade in. He'll be able to maybe hold it up for a few days or a week or even a few weeks, but it won't be successful overall. There must be other charges. I think what would be happening is there's so many legal cases coming down the pipeline 
towards Trump. They'd, the lawyers for all these different cases, and we'd be talking hundreds if you added them all up, hundreds of lawyers, I mean, they'd be saying, we need to go first. No, I want to go first over here with this charge. No, you can't go first. There'd be a lot of, you know, negotiating and jostling who's going to go first, second, third. What order are these cases going to unfold? And I think they would be having powwows together trying to decide who gets precedence and they'd be preempting this. I think have faith, viewers, they'd be preempting the fact that DeSantis could protect him on some charges but not others. And that will affect the sequence of these events. Wow. Now, one more little request here from a viewer. Quite a few people in Alberta watch this channel. Hello, Canada. Hello, Alberta. I think Psychic Violetta's in Alberta. Is that right? But I'm just going to read on Jason Kenny very quickly. And in other news, while I'm shuffling, in the next couple of weeks, I'm travelling interstate to Adelaide to go and visit Dave from Moonride. So we'll be doing a combined video there in person. We might even be able to manage a live event. You never know. So I'm reading on Jason Kenny, Alberta. I know nothing about him. So this is a cold reading, as we say in the business. What's going on for him? Look, for now, he's actually sitting pretty. He's got the three of wands. He thinks he'll be re-elected again. He's got straight underneath that the six of discs which is success at the moment he's sitting pretty but this is the princess of swords i think this is some woman who's going to fly into the picture uh, uh, anyone from alberta might know already who i'm talking about because i don't know i haven't got a clue but she's a woman who's fearless and cuts through, absolutely cuts through. And she has a bit of an axe to grind or a sword, if you like, with this guy, Jason Kenny. It's like she's from his past and she's going to come and bring him undone. The Ten of Wands is the card of oppression and the martyr lots of work and can be martyrdom. So when she enters the picture, she may already be around, but when she becomes more public about what she's got to say about him, this will become a burden and he could be martyred in some fashion. That's kind of strange. So maybe people from Alberta can fill me in. Does any of that make sense to you? Please get back to me in the comments. I'll be intrigued. So I'm racing off now. It's Saturday in Australia. It's our big sports day. And as some of you might know, I'm actually a sports pig. So I'm going to unwind now with a bit of sport. But if you do want a reading, please get in touch. And the email is under each video and then I'll send you the notes how the readings work and we'll take it from there. So you guys look after yourself. Things are hotting up. Okay, ciao. Ciao, guys.